What is up, you beautiful, kind, and wonderful people? My name is Tom, and today we're gonna to be talking about the MacBook Pro 16 inch Space Gray Edition and all the issues that this computer has and how to fix them. Let's do this. Hey everybody and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be talking about my MacBook Pro 16 inch once again. I made a couple of videos on this particular topic and a lot of you guys are interested in it and there have been some people who have been claiming that there are lots of issues with this specific model and today I want to go over the most common issues that people have with this model including overheating, freezing, ghosting and all sorts of weird stuff that is troubling this computer or is it? But first, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Tom and I live in Sweden. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to do hashtag new subscriber so I can properly welcome you. This video is not sponsored in any way. I'm just talking about my favorite piece of tech at the moment, the MacBook Pro. So if you enjoy my hard work, I'm not asking you for money. I'm just asking you to hit that like button and put a comment below so I know that you care. Now, I just wanna mention that I am extremely happy that people have been enjoying my videos so far and with this video today I'm not trying to minimize the issues and some people will accuse me of being an Apple fanboy and stuff like that it's not about that I know that there are issues with the MacBook Pro 16 inch I know it because all tech basically has issues but I'm gonna get into that a little bit later in the video first of all take this video with a grain of salt I'm just expressing my opinions again this is not exactly a tech channel this is a channel about all sorts of things and I'm just really just talking about all sorts of things that interest me and stuff like that so without further ado let's go so first of all I wanted to talk about heating now a lot of people have been complaining that this particular computer is heating like crazy and I wanted to address this issue because I don't think that a lot of people understand what is actually happening inside in a computer when it is doing something very extreme just like watching a 4k youtube video or exporting a 4k video file or when you're running a game there is a cpu that is running really fast inside it's like running around in circles okay and when this happens it generates so much heat that in order for this thing not to blow up there are these two fans that cool it, take all of that hot air and push it out the vents. Cool air in through these vents right here and push them out here. And this is the cooling process of this machine. It's a very typical process and you will find the exact same process in your Mac Pro, in your iMac, in your PCs, in your Razer laptops, in every machine out there, you have some kind of a cooling mechanism. Now, does the MacBook Pro get extra hot? Well, yeah, it's got a six core CPU or an eight core CPU. It's a very powerful CPU. And when you push the limits on this thing, it will run hot. But there are certain things that you can do to avoid it to get unnecessarily hot. So I got this tip from a fellow YouTuber, Max, from the channel Max Tech. So check out that channel. It's a really awesome channel. They test a bunch of MacBooks and stuff like that. So these two apps that they recommend using, one is GFX Card Status. And what this app does is that it lets you know which graphics card is being used. For those of you who don't know, the MacBook Pro actually has two GPUs, one internal, that's like connected to the CPU and the motherboard. That's the Intel version. It's not very good, but it is effective. And then there is the other one, the discrete dedicated GPU, which is used for hardcore 4K editing. Now, when you're doing daily tasks, you don't want or need the super maxed out GPU in 100% because that will generate a lot of heat, okay? So what you can do is you can actually turn it off using this app and you can turn it on whenever you're using very intense graphics tasks. Now, the second app that I recommend that you get is the Turbo Boost Switcher. This is an app that actually turns off the Turbo Boost feature on the Intel CPU. Because when you're just browsing the web, 
when you're watching YouTube videos, you don't need that hyper boost. So this is an app that turns it off. If you have these two apps, you can actually cool down the CPU when you're doing everyday stuff. Just remember, don't complain if you think that your MacBook is getting slower. But I think that for most tasks, you actually don't need the dedicated GPU or the Turbo Boost enabled. Now, a third app that I personally do not use is actually a fan controlling app where you can set up your fans to run as cool, as smooth as you want them to. Now, I usually don't mess with this part because because I don't feel like I want to worry about my fans. I just want it to be on automatic, but you can actually use this app to set it up to cool down your MacBook, just like it would on a MacBook 15 inch, which some people are claiming that the MacBook 15 inch was better at cooling the CPU. But you gotta remember, if you have fans on all the time, it's gonna get loud. And if you have them turned off, it's gonna get hot. So, you know, you can't have the best of both worlds. It's a compromise. There is basically no way to build a machine that is completely silent, has maximal CPU performance, and it's also running cold. Like for that, you would need a dedicated desktop with like water cooling and stuff. But for something like this, a laptop, you won't find a laptop that will do everything to perfection. It's just an impossibility. We're talking physics here. Okay, two, there have been some people who have been reporting that the MacBook Pro is doing a lot of freezing and a lot of sudden reboots. Now, me personally, I haven't had any issues with freezing or reboots. It might happen, but so far it hasn't happened. I know that there are lots of people who have had this issue. And for that, I say that you have to remember that this MacBook, it is relatively new and they're still working on, you know, fixes, patches. So just keep updating your computer and I think you'll notice that most of these issues will disappear with time. But again, I'm not guaranteeing that everything will be fixed with a patch. Sometimes there could actually be some kind of a wire or something that is wrong inside of the computer. Just take it back to the Apple store and get it fixed. Oh, oh that's right, you can't actually do that these days. Hmm. Okay, now third, the ghost thing issues. Now I've been getting some comments about this. Some people have been claiming that when you have the MacBook Pro, it's got serious ghosting issues. Now what is that exactly? Well, sometimes when you will move like a folder or an app from left to right, you can see sort of like a trail behind it. Now, me personally, I don't care how fast or how much you, you know, take that app or folder and move it around the screen. I can't tell. I can't notice. Like, yeah, sure, I can see some trail, but it doesn't really bother me because most of the time I'm not sitting like this, you know? Most of the time I'm using something that's stable and it doesn't move that much. But some people have been complaining about this and unfortunately, for those of you who are sensitive for ghosting. I don't think there is a fix that is possible here because this is a hardware issue. It's connected to the screen itself. So there isn't too much you can actually do about it. I will, however, give you the tip that you could go into your graphics settings and you can make sure that your computer is running at 60 Hertz. Just check that one and at least you know that your computer screen refresh rate is up to speed, so to speak. That makes no sense. Again, finally, I also heard about people talking about a popping sound, sometimes getting coming from the speakers. And I've heard about this issue on older models also. And this is actually a software bug and it will be fixed with an upcoming patch. Actually, I haven't even heard about this. So I'm thinking that maybe the patch has already been in place. But again, for some of you people who don't update your computers, just get the latest update. Now, I wanna mention also that when it comes to computers, these things are very complex machines that have millions and billions lines of code. Like, there is so much stuff inside here, you know, you, so many transistors, so much technology, so much complexity that, you know, when you have a few bugs, it sort of makes sense if you have this much stuff and they're always working on it and they're always fixing it. But I think for me personally, when I see something like a bug or an issue or something, I try to sort of work with it, you know? For instance, if, if I notice that my 
computer freezes up when I connect it to an external monitor, I just stop connecting it to an external monitor. Now, some of you will have a very valid argument that when you're paying $2,000 or $3,000 for a computer, it should work flawlessly. Unfortunately, there is no computer at two or $3,000 that works perfectly. So it's not really a good argument there, if you know what I mean. Now, Apple is not perfect, but I doubt that there are other laptops out there that are perfect in every sense of the word. If you have suggestions, let me know in the comment section and I will find you a discussion forum where people are discussing problems about that particular model. I can guarantee it, but I don't wanna be a douche. I'm just simply saying that computers are bound to malfunction from time to time. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please support this channel by hitting that like button. It will mean so much to me because, well, I'm kind of competing with the big boys and if I don't get enough likes, I'm just never gonna get there, you know what I mean? So please leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Oh, you're still here. Oh, that's right. It's the behind the scenes thing. Yeah, so sometimes after I make a video, I do this behind the scenes thing where I share kind of personal stuff with my audience. So today I just wanted to mention a little bit about why I haven't been posting as much recently. That has all to do with the fact that this is a very new channel and I'm still trying to find myself and still trying to figure out what I want to do with this channel. I'm kind of worried that I'm getting into a, a tech YouTube side of things and I don't really want to become like a complete tech YouTuber. I want to talk about other things also. So it's been kind of bugging me and I haven't quite figured out how to deal with it just yet, but I'm, I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. So just bear with me if you notice that I don't post as often as I should. Okay, so what's up with me recently? Well, it's basically summer and we can't really travel because of the situation out in the world, but we have been doing some traveling in Sweden. That's right, I live in Sweden, for those of you who don't know that. Me and my wife, we've been going out to this beautiful national park nearby, just been looking at these wonderful cliffs and caves and just been, you know, hiking and just taking the trail from left to right from A to B and C to D and stuff like that. Just really been enjoying the weather. Yeah, I guess you could say that me and my wife really enjoy taking long walks and stuff like that. So I brought some of my cameras with me. You know, I brought my GoPro, I brought my Panasonic GX800. You know, I filmed a lot and it was beautiful shots. And for a couple of shots, I actually asked my wife to film me while I'm walking, you know, so, no, so I can post it on Instagram or something. And uh, she did. And then when I got home, I started to look at the footage and I was like, who, who is that fat person in my film? And it was me. And uh, I was like, oh, this is not good. This is this is not good. And I, don't, I usually don't care that much about my weight and stuff like that. But I was looking at this footage and I was thinking to myself, damn, this is this isn't you. You don't have an ass like that. And I hate to say it, but it actually got to me. You know, I checked my weight and it was, yeah, I had definitely gained some weight. And it's not difficult to understand why. I mean, recently I've been working from home. I've been staying at home. It's been kind of hard, you know, getting out there and actually doing stuff, moving your body. And also I've been eating a lot of food, you know, so <laughs> making excuses, I suppose. The point is I feel that I'm fat and I need to lose some weight. So I'm going to have to try to work on this weight. I'm going to do some more walking. I'm going to try to reduce French fries and pizzas and the good stuff, basically. It kind of sucks, but you know, I kind of feel like I have to. Because I want to look good for you guys. And I want to make sure that I look good enough so my wife doesn't leave me. Anyway, uh, that's the little update that I did. Also yesterday, I it was a really beautiful day and I wanted to make a shoot a video, but I just really don't feel like it, you know, and just sometimes that happens. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go outside and I'm going to shoot a video about squirrels. Yeah, because when you're feeling sad and fat, what else can you do but shoot videos about squirrels, you know? And we live near this park where there is a whole bunch of squirrels every single time. But of course, yesterday, when I went to the park, 
with my camera, like I saw like two squirrels and they were kind of hiding. So it was a bad day. So anyway, that's all I had for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Pew, pew.